Hey guys, just a quick update from my last video of the first startup. Since then I've painted the frame and painted the motor and tranny both cat yellow. I'm just going to let you guys take a quick look, show you what I've done since and kind of let you guys see. Uh, since then I've added the uh, clutch pulley for the alternator. Um, that's about all I've added. Um, Currently I'm working on the exhaust, before it was uh, pointed straight out like this, so I gotta get it to tuck in as close to the uh, as close to the plate and the frame rail as possible because the cab's gonna kinda get in the way there. Probably have to modify the cab just a wee bit, not a big deal. Um, I'm assuming the heater box is gonna hit this, so I ha might have to modify the uh, heater box as well, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let you guys take a quick look at the plate here. Um, basically everything from the uh, crankshaft back is all forward. The uh, flywheel, pressure plate, um, d clutch disc, the starter, it's all forward. Uh, I have the it mounted on the OEM forward uh, mount. I got it spaced about a quarter inch there, or sorry half inch. Uh, just to kind of bring the level up because the motor actually had to let it sit a little bit higher than I'd like um, but yeah um, I had to uh, the starter was originally mounted here but the uh, engine block was in the way so I had to uh, cut out the bell housing and uh, relocate the starter basically it catches about 80 percent of the teeth I'd say on the flywheel so not a perfect fit but it's uh, it'll work uh, other than that, the engine mounts are all Volkswagen, the rubber mounts, and these are all, uh, that's Volkswagen. I just welded custom plates. So after I mounted the engine and tranny together, I rigged up the uh, tranny to the Ford uh, mount, cross member, and then uh, kind of got my angles how I wanted them. The power steering pump was a little bit of a concern, but I got it, I uh, got enough clearance there. And uh, basically from there, I just let it sit on the engine crane and made my mounts how I wanted them to get it to sit right there in that exact spot. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, for the PCV, I got this clear hose. I'm just going to let it vent out into the, uh, into the ground. I'm not going to hook it up to the intake system. But uh, that's about where I am right now. So once I get this exhaust done, uh, I should be throwing the cab back on. The power steering hose actually fit onto the Volkswagen pump. It's not 100%, but I'm going to try it and uh, see if it works. If it leaks, then I'll have to make something else, but I'm, uh, I'm going to give it a shot, see if it works. Other than that, if you guys got any questions or uh, comments, just uh, feel free to leave them. Thanks, guys.